Okay, so I'm on my pre-op diet phase. I've got my surgery scheduled for August 31st, and I'm basically within the two weeks prior to my surgery. And so um, I've been doing the pre-op diet here for the last three days. The pre-op diet for Dr. Hidalgo is considered, uh, basically you can have clear liquids, you can have lean protein, you can have your protein shakes, as well as vegetables and salad. And so what I normally do here is, is have a protein shake a day. With the protein shake, the one that Dr. Hidalgo recommends is the Isopure Zero Carb. It has absolutely zero, has zero carbs, and so it's, it's actually good for you. Um, and they have nice flavors. The protein shake, you can put one or two scoops into the shaker. Uh, each scoop has between 30 and 40 grams of protein. So if you put one or two scoops in, it just depends if you're gonna have one or two. Um, scoops so 30 to 60 grams of protein and also how much protein you're already consuming along with the course of the day for me typically i'll have my protein shake in the morning and then for lunch i will have a uh, chicken breast and some vegetables and then for dinner i'll have a different type of lean protein it could be a fish um, or turkey and some and a salad or some vegetables uh, the protein shake is nice because it helps feel you'll feel full when you when you drink it and um, it gives you the added benefit of, of extra protein and you can also use it after surgery but right now in the pre-op phase the the, the pre-op diet it's pretty simple it's it's easy to do it's easy to follow you just have to stay away from your carbs and focus on on your protein and vegetables and and water clear liquids in the second phase of the pre of the pre-op diet is balloons so we have to blow up the balloons to strengthen our lungs. And Dr. Hidalgo actually wants us to blow up 40 balloons a day um, to help strengthen the lungs. Now what the best thing to do is to always get a, a brand new balloon. And then when you're done blowing it up, you'll discharge the balloon, throw it away, and then start with a new balloon. So all you have to do is each time you have your balloon, blow it up and then let it go, and then get another balloon, and you'll do 40 balloons a day. Okay, so right now we're about day four in the pre-op phase of the, the pre-op diet, and you know, I just came out to the, to the beach today, but during the pre-op phase, it's always good to get some exercise in, and typically I'll, I'll take a walk at the house or come out to the beach. Uh, 30 minutes a day is perfect, not too stressful, get some exercise in pre-op, and uh, for me, I just take a walk on the beach, or I'll be at home, do some simple walking around the house, around the block, um, stuff like that. So for the two weeks pre-op, that's what I've been doing, coming to the beach, walking for about 30 minutes a day. Okay, so today we're doing the pre-op testing. Um, normally the pre-op testing is done when you arrive on the day of surgery. But because I live here, uh, we've done it ahead of time so that we can do the, the surgery on the day of surgery. I just have to come in and we'll do the surgery. But typically when you arrive for your medical vacation, the day you arrive a couple hours ahead of time, a couple hours before surgery, we'll do the EKG, the blood work, and, and the x-rays. And so that's what we did today. Uh, first, um, we did the EKG. And then secondly, we did the x-rays. And then lastly, we just did the blood work. So those are the three tests that we do for the pre-op test. And then the next step, we'll be, go to, we'll be going to surgery. And for that, we'll see you on next Thursday, one week from today.